Hello students, here I am with yet another interesting episode on atmospheric refraction. Yes, it is such a phenomena. Because of that, we are able to see so many beautiful phenomena just around us in the nature. Right? So let's see what actually atmospheric refraction is. Okay, see now, whenever light from, you can say from any celestial body or light from a star, star is something, star is a celestial body which emits light, which has light out of, of its own, right? So whenever something from the space, from the outer space, for example, if you have a star over here and light is coming, light is coming through the star. Okay, now we know uh, we have Earth, this is our Earth, and above the Earth's surface, we have atmosphere, right? So what is atmosphere made up of? Atmosphere is made up of a lot of different types of gases, right? It has the first layer, the second layer, the third layer, and the fourth layer. There are different layers of atmosphere just above the Earth's surface, right? So the first layer is the most densest layer. The second layer is a little dense. The third layer is a little more dense and so on. And then you have space. So what is space? Space is entirely vacuum, right? It has nothing in it. No, no particles. That's vacuum. So no particles are there. Vacuum. We know light has to travel in a straight line. Now, when light traveling from uh, outside source, when it has to enter the earth, the Earth's atmosphere, what happens? So just consider a straight line over here. Now, it is entering the Earth's atmosphere. Now, what is, now, this is vacuum and this is the atmosphere. Obviously, the density of atmosphere is way larger than vacuum. So what will happen? Now, this vacuum becomes your rarer medium. This becomes your denser medium, right? And we know whenever light travels from rarer to denser medium this is the point of incidence it has to go move towards the normal so it is moving towards the normal again it enters second layer of the atmosphere which is more denser it will again go towards the normal the third layer which is again more denser again towards the normal and finally it reaches us right so light which is coming from bodies outside the Earth's atmosphere or from vacuum, they do not come in a straight line. For example, this is a star. Light from star does not reach us like this. It always bends and it is reaching us. Right? Why? Because we have this atmosphere, different, different layers of atmosphere above the Earth, which have different densities. And because of the change in densities, there is atmospheric refraction. There is refraction of light rays. So light bends towards normal, right? So this is called as atmospheric refraction. It occurs in a medium of gradually changing refractive index, right? We know density of the atmosphere varies with time, right? This is what is known as atmospheric refraction. Now, if a Two or three mark question comes, explain what do you mean by atmospheric refraction. You can go through these points. Refraction of light by the Earth's atmosphere is known as atmospheric refraction, right? This is, you can draw a small diagram if required, the Earth, and show layers, three, four layers above the Earth's surface showing that this is atmosphere, right? And show a celestial body which is emitting light and light which is coming from this body is coming in a curved form. Okay, it is bending and coming to the earth. The earth's atmosphere is not evenly distributed and is optically denser at the bottom while rarer at the top. Yes, that's what I told you right now. Now, the, we know the velocity of light changes from layer to layer. Why? Because optical density also changes. The molecules of different gases and dust particles have different optical densities. That's why they have different refractive indexes. And having different refractive index, the amount of bending will also differ. 
when an object transmits light rays in the atmosphere these light rays pass through the atmosphere having different air layers of different densities and get refracted by the atmosphere this entire phenomena which is happening is called as atmospheric refraction right now there are many different phenomena which are as a result of atmospheric refraction these are stars so normally the twinkling of stars we know we see the stars twinkling right at the night the apparent position of the star to our surprise what we see the position that we see of a star is not the actual position it is just an image it is just an apparent position of that star right now why do stars twinkle now if stars stars twinkle why do not planets twinkle right yes planets should also twinkle then if stars are twinkling but planets do not twinkle do we see planets twinkling no what is the reason behind it we'll get to it formation of mirages again very interesting phenomena mirages it's there but it's not there let us see what is that again um phenomena which is based on atmospheric refraction that is advanced sunrise and delayed sunset quite interesting very interesting you know this particular phenomena actually increases the day time increases the day time by a matter of 4 minutes now how does this happen we'll see it right so stay tuned for the next episode which will deal with twinkling of stars how stars twinkle right so stay tuned i'll come up soon with the episode on twinkling of stars see you then bye bye